Hello everyone, welcome to Dada's Food Crave Kitchen. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make some akara and gravy on the side. This is how Gambians make their akara. If you are interested in seeing how I make this delicious akara, please stay tuned. And without any further ado, let's get cooking! Okay, to start with our akara, we're gonna start making our akara sauce. You need some fresh tomatoes. If you don't have fresh tomato, you can use the diced tomato from the can. And also some tomato paste. I'm using like one and a half to two tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm using scallions. habanero pepper and some chili pepper at first I thought these were fresh cayenne pepper but it's even if it's fresh cayenne pepper or chili pepper it's pepper so <laughs> I'm not sure um, then I'm also going to be using red onions one red onion and one white onion you don't necessarily have to use red or white onion, any onion you have. Then I'm also going to use this no salt, sodium free um, seasoning. I guess this is a great um, alternative to use for people who don't eat a lot of salt. I'm also going to use some nor bouillon and some aromat seasoning. And I'm also going to add some black pepper. You can use any season you like. In a bowl, I am going to pour out one bag of the black eyed peas. You can use half of a bag or the whole bag. This is the small bag. Then you're going to pour it into a bowl, like so. And then make sure you add water in the beans and soak it for half an hour to 45 minutes or maybe an hour. I am only going to soak the beans for 45 minutes and that should be fine. Now I am going to add all my ingredients into the blender, my onions, my fresh tomato, habanero pepper, scallions, tomato paste and my fresh chili or cayenne pepper. Make sure you take the stems out if you plan on using this type of peppers. Don't add it into the blender. You want to remove them off. Now in a hot pot, just put some oil into the pot and let it heat up. Now this is a trick if you don't if you're not sure if, if you're not sure whether your, your oil is um, heat up or not, just take a wooden spoon and put it in the oil and once it starts bubbling up, then it's an indication that your oil is already ready to go. Now you're gonna add all your blended ingredients into the hot oil. Make sure you pour it gently. You don't want the oil to splatter and burn yourself because I have burns all over my hands due to not being very careful when I'm cooking so at, uh, at some times. In this gravy that I'm making, I'm not gonna add any water. I'm just gonna keep stir frying it and checking on it and stir frying it until all the water from the onions and stuff 
it's all dried up because you're only making a dry gravy then i'm gonna add my nor seasoning and my aroma seasoning and my no salt sodium seasoning and black pepper I went to the store and I found this. I'm like, hmm, let me try this, this no salt. You know, if, it, if it's a seasoning that is burst with flavor, but you know, it's a sodium free seasoning, I wanna try it. This is my first time trying it, so you can try it if you like. And you're gonna keep stir frying your gravy until, like I said, it's really brown. Keep checking on it so that you make sure it's not sticking on your pot, on your pot. Keep checking on it until it's stir fried and until it's brown. like our sauce gravy sauce for our akara is almost ready now that our sauce is already cooked my beans is already soaked for 45 minutes like I said you can soak it up to an hour your preference so after that you're gonna add the beans into a blender and make sure you add enough water into the blender as well you're not going to blend the beans like you starting to make the akara I'm adding the beans in the blender to help peel some of the skin off and what you want to do you want to use the pulse button in your on your blender and keep pressing it and pulsing it and pulsing it for one or two or three times and that should be fine now in a bowl you're gonna pour the beans into a bowl and make sure you get a nice strainer when you are washing your beans so that the skin will not go down your drain because it will cost you a lot of money to fix a clock drain so be mindful of that so this is how the beans look like after i already pulse it with enough water into the blender most of the skin are already off and this is the strainer i'm using so that the skin will the skin from the beans will um strain in there like so so what you want to do, you just want to keep rubbing the beans and rinsing it out until all the skins from the beans come off. Until you don't see any signs of black um, beans, um, skin beans. And this is how it looks like after everything it's all washed and, and drained out. And this is all the skin that came off the black eyed peas. And you want to make sure you dispose that properly. And make sure, like I said, it don't go down your drain. So in a blender, I am going to add the beans. And I'm going to add a little bit of water, not much. You don't want to add too much water into the beans because you're making akara. You're not making moi moi or olele. Because when you're making moi moi or olele, you can get away with accidentally add a lot of water into your beans. You're making akara. You want a very nice, thick consistency because you are going to be frying your beans. If you add too much water into the beans, you will not be able to have a perfect akara. And then you will have a lot of oil that will soak up into your akara. So making the akara, this is how we make it in Gambia. There is, you don't need much seasoning. All you need is salt to taste and that's all. And then you're going to mix it up. And what you want to do, you want to blend the beans and blend it and blend it and blend it until it foams up, really foams up. And if you are tired of blending the beans, just pour it into a bowl and use your hand mixer and start whipping if i say whip whip that beans until it foams up then it will double its size 
if your beans is a little thick just add a little bit of water into the beans and kind of mix it up like so and now you're gonna use your hand blender like I said and keep whipping the beans and whipping the beans until it, it makes that type of consistency that foam right there and you are ready to fry your beans if you don't have a hand mixer just keep blending it into your blender like I said until you have this consistency that you see in here that is if you don't have a hand a hand mixer you can just blend it into the blender until you see that foamy type of look on the beans now in a hot pot you want to make sure you add enough oil and make sure your oil is not extremely too hot you want to make sure your hot, your oil is not too hot but hot to be able to fry the beans then I'm gonna experiment experiment using the ice cream scooper to see if I like my akara that shape or I like my akara on a spoon shape then you want to make sure when you're frying the akara make sure you lower your hand as much as possible into the oil and don't just dump it because the beans would just slide off the spoon on its own want to make sure you lower your hand as much as possible into the oil but you want to be careful as well make sure you don't burn your hand and then you're gonna use a skewer to turn the beans the reason why you want to use a skewer is because it's it's tiny it's not gonna mess up the other beans before you turn turn them around then you're gonna fry it on one side until it's golden brown and then you flip it on the other side I think I like this the 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 shape of the spoon better than the shape of the ice cream scooper and that's what I'm gonna stick um, keep on frying my beans with the shape from the shape from the spoon and once it's all golden brown on each side like so you want to take a spoon that will tr drain the oil out and take the beans out and drain it and put it on a paper towel I know it's some a lot of people think that akara is very complicated to make but it's not complicated to make once you use the method I show you of peeling your beans I think that's the part that that a lot of people uh, don't have the energy of doing to peel the beans but like I said if you use the same method that I use to peel my beans it's as easy as one two three soak it for 30 minutes to 45 minutes or to an hour put it into a blender add some water and just pulse it and just start washing the beans and this is how everything turned out guys the akara looks so pretty it looks so yummy and this is how we make our akara in gambia then we enjoy our akara with bread we eat it with bread and then you can enjoy it with your tea or your coffee for breakfast wherever you go in Gambia in Banjul there's always uh, people that sell it in the street it's pretty much a uh, street food as well people always go in the street and buy it and eat it and enjoy it for breakfast so now this is the part where I'm gonna plate up and um, do a nice presentation for you guys like I always try to do I'm gonna plate up the akara in a plate as you can see I have my bread over there on the side because that's how we enjoy our akara in Gambia we put the bread the, the, the sauce on the bread you open it up like so you put the sauce the gravy sauce spread it all out like so and then put the akara inside the bread and you can like I said enjoy it with your favorite hot tea or your favorite hot chocolate or your favorite coffee for breakfast especially if you have a nice hot French bread with a nice hot crunchy akara mm, so good so yummy and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are new to my channel 
and this is your first time tuning into my channel i want to thank you for stopping by and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and make sure your notification bell is on and i want to thank all my returning subscribers and all my my new subscribers and this is how the akara looks like inside it looks so fluffy and so soft if you guys are interested in making this please make it and let me know how it turned out for you guys and um let me know um and i will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching bye i'll see you guys soon